Hi friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. Today we are going to discuss about another basic application of semiconductor diodes that is clippers. Now a clipper or a clipping circuit is uh, an electronic device which is used to select and remove certain specific portion of a signal waveform depending upon some reference voltage level. So any portion that lies above or below that constant voltage reference can be cut out or removed. So it is basically a cutting or removing circuit, signal removing or cutting circuit. It is a basic definition of clippers. Now there are various types of clipping circuits or clipper circuits. We are going to discuss uh, them one by one. Now this is the clipper circuit number one, the circuit diagram of the clipper circuit number one. It consists of the input signal waveform or the AC signal waveform, a resistor R connected in series to the input voltage waveform, a diode D with its P type end connected to one of the ends of the resistor while its N type end connected to the reference voltage V subscript R. The output voltage is taken from these two terminals. Let us discuss the working of this clipping circuit. Now when the input voltage is lesser than the reference voltage, it means that the P type end is at a lower potential or voltage while the N type end is con connected to a higher voltage. It means that the diode D is reverse biased and is off or opens circuitry. So the entire input voltage appears across the output terminal and output is the same as the input voltage, exactly the replica of the input. Now when the input voltage is greater than the reference voltage, it means that the p-type end is at a higher uh, potential value while the n-type end is at a lower potential value. This means that the diode is in forward biased condition and is activated or is in on state and behaves as a short circuit. So in this case, the diode behaves as a short circuit and the output, the voltage appearing across the output terminal is the reference or the constant reference voltage which is connected to the diode as it is short circuited. The output voltage is the same as the constant reference voltage used along with the diode. So here we are going to see about uh, the input and output waveform patterns of this type of clipping circuit. Now <clears throat> when the, this is the input signal waveform, this is the output signal waveform. Now when the input signal waveform is lesser than the reference voltage as you see here, the diode which is connected is reverse biased and is off or is open circuited. So the entire input voltage appears across the output terminal and the output is the exact replica of the input up to this point and this point only, reference value. It is the exact replica. My, my drawing is a bit, uh, is not uh, reflecting the same but it is the same. 
okay up to this it is the exact replica the output this is the output is the exact replica is the input up to the reference value voltage now when the input voltage the input voltage exceeds the reference value the reference voltage voltage value the diode becomes forward biased it gets on and the output voltage is equal to the reference voltage we discussed it just uh, now so the output voltage for this entire duration this entire duration or time interval it's constant the output voltage equals to the reference value voltage again when the input voltage drops below the reference voltage the output follows the same pattern as the input so this is the waveform of the type 1 clipping circuit now here is the clipping circuit type 2 it's exactly the same as a uh, clipper circuit number 1 the only difference is that the position of the diode is changed it is actually opposite to that of clipping circuit 1 the inverted position with its n type end connected to one end of the resistors the, the and the p type end connected to the reference voltage so here too when the input voltage is greater than the reference voltage the n type end is at a higher potential as compared to the p type end so the diode d is reverse biased and behaves as a open circuit so the entire input voltage appears across the output terminal and the output is the exact replica of the input waveform when input is uh, lesser than the reference voltage it means that the n type end is at a lower potential as compared to the p type end that is vr so the diode is forward biased and it short circuited the output voltage is equal to the reference voltage exactly the opposite of clipper circuit number 1 so the waveform is also the opposite <coughs> so as you see here when the input voltage is uh, this is the input signal when the input voltage this is the input signal so when the input voltage is lesser than the reference voltage the diode d is forward biased and until that duration the output voltage is the same as the reference voltage the moment the diode uh, the moment the input voltage exceeds the reference voltage the diode becomes reverse biased and is open circuited and the output is the exact replica of the input except for this minor glitch <laughs> my drawing skills are horrible so still the output this output is the exact replica of the input when the input voltage exceeds the reference level this reference level again when the input voltage drops below the reference voltage level the diode again becomes forward biased and the output voltage is equal to the reference voltage level from this point so now we are going to discuss about the type 3 clipping circuit or clipping circuit number 3 the difference from it has it possesses from the type 1 and type 2 clipping circuit is that it has two diodes which are connected in opposite position along with two independent reference voltage levels two diodes and to support them two reference voltage levels rest things are all the same a resistor connected in series with the input signal voltage waveform and the output voltage is taken from these two terminals now uh when in this case uh, another important thing to be taken care of is that the reference the value of reference voltage level 1 or vr1 
is lesser than the reference value 2 vr1 is lesser than vr2 that is a given so when the input voltage is lesser than vr1 it means that the p type end of diode d1 is at a higher potential as compared to its n type end so diode d1 is forward biased and is short circuited but when input voltage is lesser than vr1 it automatically means that the input voltage is lesser than vr2 as vr1 is lesser than vr2 so anything lesser than vr1 is automatically lesser than vr2 so as a result of it for diode d2 its n type end is at a higher potential as compared to its p type end that is vr as it is connected to vr so diode d2 becomes reverse biased and is open circuited here it is the representation diode d1 being short circuited and diode d2 becoming open circuited so the entire reference value voltage 1 vr1 appears across the output terminal or the output voltage is equal to vr1 now when input voltage is greater than vr2 it means that it is automatically greater than vr1 so the opposite thing happens as uh, compared to case 1 the diode d1 has its n type n at a higher potential as compared to its p type n and is reverse biased and is open circuited while the diode d2 has its p type end at a higher potential and its n type end at a lower potential so it is forward biased and gets short circuited just the opposite of case 1 diode d1 open circuited diode d2 is short circuited so the entire reference value voltage of diode d2 vr2 appears at the output and the output is equal to vr subscript 2 now another case interesting one is when the input voltage lies in between the two independent reference voltage levels that is it is greater than reference voltage value number one but lesser than reference value voltage number two so in that case when the input voltage is greater than vr1 it means that for diode d1 the n type end is at a higher potential at v as vi is greater than vr1 n type end is connected to a higher potential p type end is connected to a lower potential so diode d1 is reverse biased and uh, input voltage is lesser than vr2 input voltage is lesser than vr2 so here vr2 being greater than vi is connected to the n type end so n type end is at a higher potential as compared to the p type end for diode d2 so diode d2 through is reverse biased both the diodes are reverse biased and behave as open circuit so the entire input voltage appears at the output terminal and the output voltage is equal to vi the same waveform exact replica of the input waveform that is the output so these are the input output waveform comparison for clipping circuit number 3 when the input voltage is lesser than the reference value voltage number 1 the diode d2 is reverse biased and diode d1 is forward biased as a result the output voltage for the entire duration is equal to vr1 sorry again this auto adjust feature of the camera uh, the video will come up soon <coughs> so the same thing here the when the vr this is the vr1 the input voltage is lesser than the reference value voltage vr1 and for that duration the output is equal to vr1 when the input voltage lies in between vr1 and vr2 this duration 
in that case the output is equal to the input the exact replica of the input as i just told you earlier in the descriptive part now again when the input voltage is greater than vr2 vr2 being greater than vr1 in that case the diode d1 is reverse biased and is open circuited while the output voltage is equal to vr2 as diode d2 is short circuited and is on so the same thing happens again when the input signal waveform drops in between vr1 and vr2 the output is nearly equal uh, all exactly equal to the input the same waveform replica again when the input voltage drops below vr1 or vi is lesser than vr1 the diode d2 is reverse biased while the diode d1 is forward biased and the output is equal to vr1 so sorry for the image quality but it is the same thing uh, as uh, i just told you so here i have discussed with you three types of clipping circuits their basic construction working principle and uh, the input and output waveform comparison of the clipping circuits so i hope you like the video please do not forget to subscribe my channel for more such uh, videos on electronics engineering and related concepts have a good day thank you very much